Hey besties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my entire nude lipstick collection. Um, I did upload one of these maybe like a year or two ago, but to be honest, I hated the video. Um, it was just kind of trash, and so I think I've probably taken it down by now. It might still be up, but this is the new updated version. Obviously, um, I have some new liquid lipsticks and satin lipsticks since then, so today I'll be showing you my entire nude lip collection. Um, I, this is another video in my makeup collection series where I take you through a different category of makeup in my collection and show you every product in that collection. So I've shown you all my red lips. Um, this will not include any lip glosses because I just uploaded an entire lip gloss video with every single lip gloss I have. So this is only going to be nude lipsticks that are in a bullet form, a satin liquid lipstick or a like liquid matte lipstick. So yeah, that's all the things I'm going to be showing you today. I'm going to start off by actually applying a liquid lipstick because I'm not wearing one right now. Now this is my like favorite stock standard kind of style of liquid lipstick and I'm just going to find a mirror so I can actually put it on for you guys. Um, I can't find a mirror. Okay, well we're just going to go for it and hope that I don't make a mess. But this is Exposed from Kylie Cosmetics. I love Kylie Cosmetics' lipsticks um, and this is what the applicator looks like. It's just a doe foot applicator with a little bit of a chiseled angledness to it. So that is the shade Exposed. Oh, the scent from Kylie Cosmetics is unmatched. This is delicious. And the reason Exposed is like my favorite kind of nude is because the um, actual shade is like a warm toned um, beigey nude. I don't like nudes to be too pink toned on me, too mauvey on me. My skin tone is obviously with a yellow undertone and um, so I feel like I look best in a warmer tone nude and also I look for nudes that are on the lighter to medium side just because if it goes on the darker side then it becomes like a brown on me rather than a nude because obviously I'm of light, I am of a lighter skin tone. So yeah, um, Colours that are around or similar to Exposed from Kylie Cosmetics are pretty much the kind of nudes that I'm looking for and most of the colours that I'll be showing you today are somewhere around this realm, but I'll be talking about each of them. So first of all, obviously, Kylie Cosmetics. I love Kylie's formula and um, all of my liquid lipsticks, um, most of them live in this box here that sits on my vanity over there. If you'd like to see my makeup setup, I have a video up on my channel of my entire makeup collection if you'd like to see that. So yeah, a lot of my Kylie lives in there. And then the rest of my lipsticks kind of live randomly through my collection. So I've just thrown them all into this Victoria's Secret makeup bag and those are the rest of the nudes. Um, so yeah, with my Kylie products, I love Kylie's lip products. Um, the formula is just like really comfortable on the lips. I wore a lip balm before applying the um, liquid lipstick exposed that I just showed you. Um, but even if I didn't apply a lip balm underneath, it's super comfortable. Um, I often get these as lip kits, so I have the option of wearing it as a liquid lipstick, but the lip kit also comes with a lip liner, so I can just wear it um, the lip liner underneath if I feel like it, and that makes it even more long lasting. Or I can just wear the lip liner or just the liquid lipstick by itself. Um, and yeah, it gives me options. I can mix and match different lip liners with different liquid lipsticks. I'm going to pull out some of my um, nude Kylie lips and we can talk about them. So this next one that I have to show you is um, kind of newer for me. It's called Sister Sister and it's from her recent Kendall collab. I got this as um, part of a lip kit and um, it's just another nude kind of shade. It's I think it's in their satin formula. Let me just check. It's a lip blush. So it's a little bit sheerer than the rest of them, but it just looks like this. Um, and it, of course, has that beautiful Kylie Cosmetics scent. I love the scent that Kylie uses in her lip products. It's really beautiful and um, kind of cupcake, caramel, vanilla. I'm really into scented lip products, especially, oh, just any scented makeup in general, really. And um, I like it to have, like, a sort of cakier scent. Um, some lipsticks that I have from her looked nude on the website, but when they actually arrived, they came different to how I expected. So this is the shade Kylie, and this is the shade Queen, and these both looked nude on the website, and I thought they would arrive and be very similar tones to Exposed. I don't know if you can tell, but this one is way more dark and pinkier and peachier, and this one's so much more cool toned and pinkier. Um, so this is way, like, what I'm more comfortable with. These two are really, I don't know, I feel like they're almost colours on me. So yeah, this is Kylie. And then this one is Queen, and as you can see compared, they're not as neutral nude, beigey, warm tone brown as I'm into, but they might be better nudes than someone else. On the website though, they looked like they were going to be like nudes for me. Everything looks like a nude on Kylie, like when she wears them in the swatches and the examples, they all look like they're like the perfect nude, and then when I get them, they're not always the perfect nude. This one is actually a really nice nude. I like this one. This is the velvet lipstick that she came out with in collaboration with um, Kris Jenner. Um, I can't remember the name of it. I think it's like, 
Todd, Cr I don't know, I don't watch Keeping Up with the Kardashians, but it's um, the liquid lipstick that came out in the lip kit when she collaborated with Kris Jenner. So yeah, this is um, that liquid lipstick. I couldn't tell you the name because the sticker has fallen off the bottom, but this is a really nice shade. It's up my alley of that like warm toned nude. Um, what is this one? This is Hazel. Okay, this is like a little bit um, darker and brownier, but Hazel I feel like is a really good name for it because it is definitely a Hazel. It's like a warm toned brown. So this is exposed on the top and this is Hazel underneath. Um, I feel like it looks just a little bit darker on the lips. Um, just a bit more warm toned. Um, it does remind me of hazelnuts um, and I do like the shade hazel. So yeah, those are some ones that I love from Kylie. Um, I also have some of her collaborations she's come out with over the years with other people. So this is um, the um, Send Me More Nudes collection and this was like my favourite when it came out. These I have given so much love to. This was the, I think the first time she ever came out with a velvet liquid lipstick formula. Um, she came out with these ages ago but I still wear them and I still love them. Unfortunately though because they were so beautiful when I first got them with this soft matte packaging. Over time the soft matte packaging like that rubberized finish it kind of deteriorates on packaging and so these are starting to feel a little bit like I don't know if you can like tell. They're like catching dirt and they're kind of sticky um, and I don't really think I can fix it. But yeah, these, um, I got the whole kit. They came in like a box set. The box is like over there, but I didn't bring it over because I just wanted to show you the liquid lipsticks. These look like they're all different shades and they are, but they're all comfortable nudes for me and none of them are like too pinky or too beigey or too mauvey. Um, here we have the shade um, Birthday Suit. Bare, Naked and Commando. Some of these are still available on her website as singles um, and like these aren't just shades that she only came out with for that summer collection. I also like how these have like the beautiful nude drips on the top instead of like the traditional black drips. I think the black drips is so classic but like I like that this whole collection was like so nude and so neutral. Um, obviously you can tell I love nudes. So yeah, just love this set. Probably one of my favourite collections or maybe even it's definitely my top three collections that Kylie's ever come out with. This set is very, very well loved by me and um, all the shades in here are so stunning. I love the velvet formula as well as the matte formula from Kylie. But I just feel like the velvet formula, it's a little bit more wearable because it's a little bit more comfortable on the lips. Um, it's not as much of a dead matte, if that makes sense. That sounded really Kiwi. It's not as much of a dead matte, if that makes sense. Um, this next line is the KKW Club. So this is the first... Um, collaboration she did with KKW. I'm just like mixing it up so that the colours look a little bit more even because I've worn these so much. Um, I like scraping the sides of the tubes. Um, but these are the first collaboration she did with Kim, her sister. And so it's like kind of KKW's first product as well. So it's KKW by Kylie Cosmetics and it's a range of nudes. Now these actually are pinkier than I expected them to be. I kind of expected these to be similar to my favourite, you know, vacation collection she came out with. But these are actually a little bit more pinky toned and maybe I should have just known from the lids. But they are still really beautiful. These aren't a lip gloss formula but they're also not a satin liquid lipstick formula. They're kind of an in-between um, and they are a really nice formula. It's just not my favourite. Also these don't have any scent if I'm remembering correctly. They don't. Yeah, they don't have any scent and like ugh, the scent from Kylie Cosmetics is so delicious. Like it's a huge factor for me when like enjoying one of her products. Um, but Kim isn't into scented products. So these don't really have a scent, but they're actually still really beautiful. And I do wear them all the time. As you can tell, I've like scraped the sides of them because I've enjoyed them so much. So here I have the shade Kiki, which is like a pinkier shade, lighter pink. Um, this one is Kim, which is a I'm trying to like compare them. Um, this is like a cooler tone pink. This is more of a peachier pink. Then we have um, Kimberly, which is probably my favorite from the collection, just because as you can tell, it's like the nudiest neutralist. And then this one is a little bit darker and it's a bit more like, I don't know, it's like more the color of my lips on the inside, if that makes sense. And this one is called Kimmy. This is a really nice natural, your lips but better kind of peachy pink shade. Um, these are really beautiful and I definitely do still class them as nudes even though um, they're a little p pinkier than I expected. They are still gorgeous um, and I do wear them all the time. Um, the other things in this jar, oh actually I have one more Kylie product in here. This is from um, a Christmas collection ages ago and it's in the shade Kissmas and it's just, oops, mm, well I've just dropped it. Okay, it's in the shade Kissmas and it's in this frosted like a blue tube. I think this Christmas collection was one of my favorites she's ever come out with. I think it's the only Christmas collection I've ever picked up from picked up from her. And um yeah, it's really really stunning. Let me get it next to exposed so you can see comparison. Yeah, this is exposed. Um it's a little bit pinkier, 
but it's still a wearable shade in my opinion. It's not like too pink, it's not too out there. I don't feel uncomfortable when I'm wearing it. Sometimes I feel like pink looks a little odd on me. It makes my it makes me feel like my teeth look yellow and I don't like to have yellow teeth. And like, I just feel like because I am so warm toned, pink can look a little odd on me, depending on the shade of pink. But I don't feel like this is an odd shade of pink. It's just like a your lips but better. It looks natural. So love this. It's definitely a nude. Um, let's get into some things that aren't from Kylie. So I have some other things that live in this little um, glass box. By the way, this glass box is really beautiful and I bought it from Kmart years and years ago. I think they still sell it or they have at least something similar at Kmart. Um, and I think it's stunning. Um, so these are the rest of the lipsticks that are nude that live in my nude glass lip box. Um, this first one is from Ofra Cosmetics in the shade Manila. Um, and it's kind of like a... I don't want to say pinkier toned, but it's it's on the morvier side of what I'm comfortable of. It's definitely still within my comfort zone. Definitely something that's really gorgeous. I love the Ofra liquid lip formula. Jeez, this is on really tight. Um, yeah, it's just really stunning. It has a delicious cake batter scent. Mmm, yum, delicious. And um, yeah, it's kind of like a your lips but better like morvia nude. Um, but it's definitely still comfortable and um, one that I love and wear all the time. I was actually gifted this um, at a Meshki event and... I think it's stunning. Um, this one is um, a shade that I'm very comfortable with. This is very much in the same realm as Expose from Kylie Cosmetics. Obviously, I'm going to keep referring to Expose because I'm going to try and use that as like a comparison to all of these things as like my perfect shade of nude. Um, this is the shade 55 Driver from Maybelline. It's in their um, lasting, what is it called? Super Stay Matte Ink formula. And as you can tell, it's in that same kind of beigey, warm toned, nude, light kind of shade. Um, and also this smells divine. This smells sweeter and a little bit more like the icing on the cake. Anyway, the doe foot applicator is really nice. It actually has, I don't know if you can see, but there's like a hole through the doe foot applicator in the middle there, um, where the product kind of goes through. Um, and the, it's just like a really good affordable liquid lipstick that lasts a really long time on the lips. Like when you apply this to the lips, you have a liquid lip on you are set and um, it can wear a little odd if you don't wear um like a lip balm underneath just because um, it is like such an intense liquid lipstick like some people might find this drying but I don't um, as someone who doesn't really struggle with dry lips as much I think this is really nice um, but maybe it'd be too intense for other people I think it's long-lasting anyway um, next, oh, this is another formula that I absolutely love. This is from Dose of Colors and this is the shade Supernatural. I wore this religiously for ages. This is what the applicator looks like. It really is a fluffy one and it hugs the lips a lot. Oh, I knew exactly what that was going to smell like. This one smells like batter as well, like cake batter. I'm not giving very unique descriptions for these, but I do have a type when it comes to scents and these all smell quite similar or they're in the same like genre of scent. Um, this is very similar to Exposed. Um, this has a frosted packaging, so it kind of is hard to tell, but um, very similar to Exposed in shade. Just that warm tone nude that I'm absolutely obsessed with. I love getting like this exact similar kind of shade in every single formula. I just love trying different formulas. And when I'm going to try a new formula, I typically go for this kind of uh, beigey nude just because I'm going to wear it so much. And so, you know, when I'm going to try something new, I try and go for something that I'm going to get use out of. Okay, this next one is from, Ky uh, not Kylie, this is from KKW Beauty. Um, it's a collaboration Kim did with her makeup artist, makeup artist, Makeup by Mario, and this is in the shade Classic K. It's a little bit darker and a little bit pinkier than um, my preference. It just looks like this. Honestly, this packaging is very cheap, and if I pull it, I don't want to pull it too much that I break it. Yeah, if I pull it, this part comes off, and that came off like the first time by accident, and then I was like, oh kind of like not that secure um the packaging like from the outside does look really gorgeous like it's like this sleek crystalline kind of perspexy plastic packaging but i don't know if you can tell through it there's like a crack can you see the crack i don't know it's just like not as quality as i hoped for and the lipstick inside isn't like incredible it doesn't have um a huge scent or anything it just smells like lipstick um which is fine and all but like nothing of this was like obsessive to me that's why i didn't buy more from um Kim's um, beauty line. I do think she has some other really nice nude shades and I'd love to try some of her other nudes that aren't just like this one um, just because it is a good formula like it's not a bad formula at all but um, I have a lot of other nudes that I'm working through so I'm in no hurry to pick up um, more from Kim just because this it's not my favorite. It's nice and I do wear it but it's not like oh you know what I really want to wear today this one you know 
sometimes in the mood though. Sometimes I'm in the mood, depends. This one is one that I love and I wish they didn't discontinue it because this one's kind of getting old and I'd like to replace it. This is Chocolate Milkshake from Too Faced. It's in their melted, like liquefied um, longwear lipstick formula. And um, yeah, it's just beautiful. It's from their melted chocolate range. So they had six liquid lipsticks. This is what the applicator looks like. It kind of like you squeeze it and it comes out the end there. Like a, kind of like a lip gloss, but it's kind of like a satin finish on the lips. Um, and I just wish they didn't discontinue these. They had six um, of the melted chocolate ones in the range. And I felt like chocolate milkshake was, I think it was the second lightest of the non-shimmer formula. So I think they had like three shimmery shades and then three like cream matte shades. And so this is one of the creamier ones and it was the second lightest, I believe. I could be saying that wrong. Maybe they weren't any metallics and they just got darker instead in chain range. But anyway, this is the second lightest one. Um, and it's so beautiful. It's again in that realm of like beautiful warm tone nude. It's very similar to Exposed that I'm wearing right now. Um, and it looks really good with the Too Faced um, Semi-Sweet Palette and the Peanut Butter Palette, in my opinion. I used to pair this with those two palettes all the time and it was like my favorite, it was a go-to. Um, but this is kind of really old now and I really would want to replace it, but they don't make it anymore. Um, I also wish I picked up more from this series because this smells divine. It has a very chocolatey scent. Um, it's like chocolate, honey, batter, icing, sugar, vanilla, caramel, all that genre. It's quite delicious and I wish I had some more from this shade range. I wish I just had the lighter one probably because then I could mix them together and like have more variety. Anyway, love it though. This next one, I think I'm just going to open it. Um, this is a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade London and I this is a repurchase. I have another one of these in my cheer bag right now and it is so used up. Like I'm scraping the inside to get it out. So I picked up a new one recently and showed you guys in a haul and so... I may as well unwrap it to show you guys. Um, but the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream formula is one of my favourite formulas of all time. Definitely one of my favourite formulas available at the drugstore. Very good affordable formula. And the shade London is definitely my favourite out of the whole series. This is the perfect dupe for Kylie Cosmetics Exposed. So if you want the same look on a budget, this is definitely exactly the same. It's a dupe. Um, I'm just going to apply it straight to my lip and you'll see there's literally no difference. It's literally the same shade. The formula is like a whipped moussey consistency and it's absolutely divine. Um, the packaging is very simple. It's got like a very sleek, straight kind of doe foot that has a little bit of an angle to it, but very, very simple, sleek, um, easy to use. Um, it has a rubberized soft matte finish on the little lid here. And the shade London is also the shade um, 04, if you're wondering. That's not going to focus, but it says the numbers and then 04, um, London. And yeah, London is definitely my favourite. I'm going to show you some other nudes from um, this line from NYX in a bit, but this is definitely um, my favourite one just because this is a perfect match for Exposed. And um, the others are a little bit more pinky and, you know, the more pink we get, the less comfortable I am. So yeah, this is definitely my favourite. And the smell, the whipped moussey consistency, this is more of a satin finish than Exposed. So sometimes I feel a little bit more like a long lasting lip. I'll go for Exposed. Sometimes I feel like a more satin comfortable lip. This is probably a little bit more comfortable um, just because it isn't as like intense of a liquid lipstick. So that one's more of like a matte liquid lipstick. This is more of like a satin finish. Um, it's a soft matte what's it called soft matte lip cream so yeah that describes it pretty well i reckon like it's soft it has a matte finish um and it's a creamy kind of consistency really beautiful um okay let's show you some more from over here so over here i just have some things that live in my makeup collection in different areas i'm gonna whip out all of these nyx ones first so when i was like i don't know ages ago i picked up this like nyx vault and it had all of the shades nyx literally sold in the soft matte lip cream formula and so i have a load of nudes from nyx I'll show you. Try not to drop any. So these are all soft matte lip creams from NYX and they're all in this mini size and it was really good that I was able to pick up that vault because it was super cheap and I was able to try like loads of different shades. Unfortunately these are all minis though which is good because like I don't need like a load of each shade but this one the shade Cairo is my second favorite after London just because it's beautiful. It's like that same kind of tone but lighter and so applying this in the center of the lip kind of like contours the lip really nicely it highlights the center of the lip or um sometimes i just feel like having concealer lips i'm like really having like concealer it looks like my skin tone but as a liquid lipstick but like slightly warmer and slightly different it's, it's perfect but they just continued this shade cairo and now i only have this tiny mini size that i'm scraping at the inside of and it's very sad so i only wear this when i'm really feeling like it because 
it's special and there's not a lot of it left. So that's the shade Cairo. Um, I'm just going to read through quickly some of these other ones. Um, this is the set shade Stockholm. Stockholm is very similar to um, Exposed, except it's a little bit pinkier. So where Exposed and um, London from NYX are on the warm side, this is on the pink side, but it's still within a comfortable range of morph for me um, to still enjoy it. It's very similar. Let me compare the kneecaps for you. So this is London. Looks like that. And then this is Stockholm. I think Stockholm might be my sister's favourite because it's still in a very similar tone range. But as you can see, it's a bit pinkier than um, London. It's still very nice, though. I just feel a little more comfortable in the beigey nudes. Um, I'm very, like, careful when I put um, applicators back into the tube. I hate getting, like, liquid lipstick all over things. Um, some other shades I have. Athens, it's like a lighter, um, pinkier shade. Really pretty. I actually quite like that one. Um... What's this one? This one is Zurich. I hope I'm saying that one right because it's a place. Um, this one is quite a bit pinkier, but still in that nudie kind of genre. It's kind of like the pinkiest um, nude ever. Um, it's not one that I reach for a lot. This is my mini size of London. So this is London as a mini, um, but yeah, because it's a mini, I go through this pretty quickly. And then this one is Abu Dhabi, which is another one of my favorites. It's kind of a little bit darker than London, I want to say. Let me show you. So. It's like London, but a little bit darker. This is London and this is Abu Dhabi. And also Abu Dhabi, I don't know if you can tell, but it also has a little bit more of a pinkier tone through it, whereas London is on the beige or warmer side. I hope you can tell the difference. The difference is obvious to me. Anyway, it's obvious when it's on the lip. Like when you look at them, like just as is, sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. They're all different. Um, okay, the next thing I'm going to show you, I'll show you some more drugstore ones. Let's not roll away. So, um, a brand that I also love is Rimmel, and I really like their Kate Moss line. And so these are some Kate Moss collaborations she's done with um, Rimmel London. So this one is from the Nude Lip line. It's in the shade 43, and it's just like a really good basic nude. Um, this is a very affordable line. It's kind of got like a... Oh, gee, what's this? I want to say it's almost a fruitier scent, but it's not gross. I'm really into like a cake batter kind of scent. And so a lot of fruitier scents put me off, but this isn't too fruity that it becomes uncomfortable. But yeah, gee, I've worn this so much. Um, but yeah, it's just a good, a nude. It's not as warm toned or perfect as like London from NYX or like, I don't know, some of the ones I'm about to show you, but it's still good. So then after Kate Moss had collaborated with Rimmel for like years and years and years, I think it was like the 12 year anniversary. So they came out with a special 12 year anniversary line. So you can tell these are special and separate and different to the usual line because these are usually in like different packagings, but these are like a metallic packaging. Ooh, special edition. And so I was gifted the whole line by a friend. And um, so these are the shades that I have. This one is called 54 Rock and Roll Nude. This one's the pinkier, lighter nude from the range. Um, this one looks really good with a smoky eye. It's just like a more lighter, pinkier nude that um, is still in my comfort range. This one is my nude. It's called My Nude. Um, and it's like a neutral mid-tone nude. Still light. These are all for like lighter skin tones, obviously, because I am lighter skin tone. So I want my nudes to like be of my skin tone. So yeah, this is My Nude. And then the last one is warm tone. So it goes pinkier, neutraler, warm tone. And so this one is called Boho Nude and it's in the number 56. And this one is almost quite similar to the one that I'm wearing right now from Kylie Cosmetics. I really like this one. It's probably my favorite out of those three. Um, just because it's the warmer tone one. But I do love all three and the variety is fun. And they all serve different purposes because they're all, they're all so different. Um, what else is from the drugstore in here? Um, these are from, oh, this one's from L'Oreal. This one is a newer one for me. This is the Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick in the Le Chocolate range. It does smell like chocolate, but it smells a little bit like mocha to me. I got the shade, um, 844 Sweet Tooth because I thought it would be most similar to this kind of shade that I'm wearing right now. Also, what I think is interesting is, um, L'Oreal and Maybelline are owned by the same company. L'Oreal. L'Oreal owns everybody. <laughs> anyway, so, um, they both have very similar doe foot applicators. So this is the doe foot applicator on um, Sweet Tooth. As you can see, it's kind of angled, but it has that kind of um, teardrop effect with the hole in the center of the doe foot. And then this is the one from Maybelline, and it's very similar in my opinion. Um, this one is a little bit more brownier, and this one is a little bit more like just warm. I don't know, this one is very like dead brown. I really like that. Um, but yeah, you can kind of tell that these applicators are very, very similar. Um, I like them both. Um, 
Yeah, this one has a little bit more coffee in the scent, in my opinion. Like, this is kind of a coffee scent more than a chocolate scent. This is a little bit more, like, vanilla-y, caramelly. Yeah, yum. Okay, so those are those. This is also from L'Oreal, but I haven't used it yet because it's a special edition one and I just, like, have it for, like, collector's obsession issues. Um, so this is in the Balmain, Balmain. I don't really know how to pronounce this designer, but it's a designer. It's from the Balmain collection in the shade Urban Safari, which is the most beautiful warm tone nude that they came out with. It's on the lighter side, um, and I really like lighter nudes at the moment. This is stunning. It smells like marshmallows this line from l'oreal that comes in this like kind of packaging usually they're black this is like a special um packaging for the balmain collection um but usually this sorry my watch is going off it will stop by itself in like three seconds um usually this packaging is like all black matte and then inside it has like this little um divot so that's where the lid clicks in nicely because you can't like click it that way you have to click it in that way and these all smell so good. Anything from L'Oreal in this kind of packaging smells divine, smells like marshmallows, so sweet, sugary, icing, delicious. Um, so yeah, that's another one that I haven't used yet because it's it's special to me. Um, oh, I have one more thing from Kylie Cosmetics that I forgot to show you. This doesn't live with the rest of my Kylie lipsticks because it lives in my metallic lipstick um, jar instead because I think it's really beautiful. This is Clo Money. Like I said how Stockholm and London from NYX are like siblings, whereas London's on the warmer side and Stockholm's a little bit on the cooler side. Not cooler, like pinkier side. This is the pinky version of Exposed. Clo Money is from the Coco collaboration she did um, when Kylie collaborated with Chloe. Um, and the packaging's really beautiful. It's the reverse drips. Um, and it's in this beautiful rose gold tube. Um, and I'll compare it to Exposed for you so that we can get the vibes. So this is Exposed. Obviously, I've just shown it to you like 20,000 times. And this is what Clo Money looks like. It's kind of hard to see it through the tube. So we'll open it up. I take things out really slowly because I'm very careful. But you can kind of tell they're very similar in like shade and tone. Um, but this is like a pinky tone version. And this is a warmer, um, beigier tone. I feel like they're very similar and I'm very comfortable wearing this even though it's on the pinkier side. This is like my favourite kind of your lips but better kind of pink. Love it. Definitely a gorgeous nude. Um, what else do I have to show you guys? Okay, these are some Colourpop lippies that I've had for ages. And some of these will probably be getting decluttered soon just because I've had them for so long um, that they're probably, they've been around for a while. Oh, there's one up. There's another one from Kylie. I'll tell you about that later. Anyway, so these ones from Colourpop. By the way, Colourpop is totally from the same... How many times is my watch going to be? It's very rude. I'm trying to film a video. Quiet on set, please. Anyway, oh, thank you. Um, these are my Colourpop liquid lipsticks. And there are a couple of satins in here. And I'll talk you through them. Um, the first one I'll show you is this um, Lippy Sticks. Now, a lot of these shades are discontinued because I did get these ages ago. This is the Lippy Sticks in the shade She Bad. It's in the Matte X formula. Out of all of Colourpop's Lippy Sticks, um, this is the most long-lasting. This is a true matte. Their normal matte formula, I don't feel like is that matte. Whereas their Matte X formula, I feel like is actually matte. So yeah, it just is like a light-toned nude in that warmer-toned, beigey kind of shade range. Um, back in the day when Colourpop... Um, was like first out I would search up beige nude on their website and like this is all the ones that had beige in the shade description because everything that was beige is like my kind of range so yeah this is a beigey kind of nude a little bit lighter than exposed but definitely still comfortable doesn't look like concealer lips on me um just a great nude um this one is um Times Square which is a liquid lipstick and um this one it's nice. I don't wear it as much anymore and it's probably... No, it's still good. It still smells good and stuff. Um, it's probably one that I'll get rid of soon though just because I have had it for a while and um, it is a nice nude though. It's like a, a little bit lighter than I expected it to be and I also hoped that this would turn up and be the Colourpop dupe for Exposed just because um, Kylie Cosmetics and Colourpop are like kind of the same company. Like it's... I'm, I think they're from the same factory or something. And I just hope this would be a dupe. But it's not. They're not that similar. This is pinkier. This is more nude um so yeah it wasn't what i hoped it would be when it turned up it's a hard thing about shopping online it's like you can't always expect like you expect something but it doesn't always turn up the way you want it to be this is from um the karuchi collaboration she did with them this is in the shade chi um and this is a really nice nude actually it's on the cooler tone side and it's like a dark cool tone nude on me it's very pretty and um one that i love a lot um it's very similar to bow and arrow from um K kvd beauty 
I can't remember what KVD Beauty is currently called, but yeah, this is like bow and arrow from KVD Beauty, kind of like a cooler tone nude back in like the day when um, everyone was obsessed with like cool tone lips. This is one that I wore so much and it's definitely a gorgeous one, but I don't think this is still being made. It used to have like a um, rose gold strip along the bottom there, but it's worn off completely because I loved this, especially like back in the day in like high school and stuff. These are two of their satin lippies, I believe. Um, the first one is called Magic Wand. This is more of a peachier, pinkier shade on me. Um, really nice formula. I love satin liquid lipsticks, especially the Colourpop ones are really nice. And then this one over here is called Midi. Midi is like, it's lighter than I expected and it's also like got a grey undertone. It's like a light greyish, if that makes sense. But it's definitely still like a pinky nude. It's just got like the slightest hint. So as you can tell, that one's a little bit more pinky peachier. That one's a little bit more like lighter pink, a little bit greyier. This one's more peachy. I hope that makes sense. Um, these two are from Revlon and these are a throwback, but these are still delicious to me. These are the Revlon lip butters that used to be really popular here on YouTube. Um, this one is in the shade Creme Brulee, which is like everyone's favorite and it's definitely probably my favorite. Um, well, I don't know. I have many favorites. And then this one is Creamsicle. Creamsicle is like a kind of adds just like a wash of concealer lips to your lips. I think it's really pretty. As you can tell, it's very light, but it's not like pigmented. These are like sheer. Oh, they still smell so good to me. And then this one is the famous Creme Brulee. There we go. Creme Brulee just, oh, as you can tell, this is very well loved. Creme Brulee is like a, I don't know, it's kind of a little bit cooler toned than um, some of the things that I wear a lot nowadays, but oh, this smell even takes me back. It's like a really nice nude on the lips. It's like a sheer nude. It's very pretty. I love these guys. These are such OGs and they bring me very happy memories of like, discovering makeup back in the day. I don't wear them as much anymore just because I have newer liquid lipsticks and stuff like that now, but um, I keep them around because they make me happy. Okay, let's go into my last Kylie Cosmetics liquid lipstick. I think, I can't see any more in front of me. I hope this is the last one. This is in the shade Handbag Ho. Um, it's a matte liquid lipstick and it's from the newer collaboration she did with Chloe. So it's another Coco by Kylie Cosmetics. And this one is warmer toned um, than the other ones. It's still a little bit pinkier, but um, like it's not as warm toned as exposed, but it's definitely very pretty and um, yeah, another really nice one. I think that came in a lip kit and I had the matching lip liner. Um, okay, so this one is a random one from Dose of Colors that I picked up ages ago, and this is one of my most worn lipsticks. This, like, bullet is really, like, interesting. It, like, oh, there we go. It winds up and down this way, and, um, I've really used and abused this, um, lipstick. This is in the shade Butterscotch. It smells really nice. This lipstick formula is really nice. It's kind of like a satin, but dries down to a bit of a matte. It looks really light when I first apply it, but then when it dries down, it looks more like my actual... Like, it, it stands out on my lips a bit more. I'm going to apply it in the center. You can tell it's like a little bit lighter, but in the same range as like exposed that I'm into. And it kind of contours the lip when you add just like a bit in the center like that. But often I would just wear this all over the lip as the only lipstick I'm wearing because I think it's beautiful. Also, the packaging is so cool. It's like this really intense um, rose gold packaging. And um, I like that it's like a really tall... Um, tube I think it's just really cool and um, it lives in my metallics jar and I wear it all the time because it's one of my faves I like a lighter tone nude recently because it makes me feel like I don't know it gives me a bit of a like 2000s concealer lip vibe and I'm really into that okay by the way if you're wondering where my tops from do you remember ice ice is like an Australian like clothing brand store I don't know if it is an Australian clothing brand store but we had it here in Australia um, back in like I don't know like 2010 or something the 2010s, yeah. Um, I don't think they exist anymore. I haven't seen an ice store in ages, but I got this in ice back when I was in high school and I still like it. I think it's really pretty and I think it's really cute. And I was so excited when I first bought it because I was like, oh my gosh, that's such a cute top. Anyway, um, next I have um, something from Fenty Beauty. Sorry, these are all damp because I just wiped down the inside of my makeup basket. So I'm like wiping the residue off, the water off them. Um, this is the Fenty Beauty um, Lip Stunner, I believe. Yeah, the Stunner Lip Paint in the shade Unbuttoned. So out of all the lip liquid lipsticks that um, Fenty came out with. This is the one that's most likely exposed because when there's a new formula, I always get the one that's most likely exposed. I actually wear the red lip from um, Fenty, like the Stunner Lip Paint in the red shade. I think it's called Uncensored. I hope. Anyway, the bright red shade I wear actually more than the nude shade. Um, this is a very long lasting formula, really unique, like 
bottle like the tube is really unique and the applicator itself the little doe foot is really unique as well um this is what the doe foot looks like it's kind of like an hourglass with a little chiseled tip it's really cool um this i don't like the scent of i don't mind the scent of the red one like the red one doesn't really have a scent but this one has a kind of fishier scent and i don't like that it's not noticeable once it dries down on the lips but when it is a liquid consistency it has a slight fishy scent and i really don't like that um, it is still a really beautiful and long wearing liquid lipstick, but I just have other nudes that I prefer more. I do really like the Fenty Lip Stunner paint line because my red liquid lipstick from them doesn't have that odd scent and it's definitely one of my favourites. This isn't old though because when I sniffed, this sounds weird, when I sniffed the testers in store, the testers in store always have this scent and even the newer tested newer testers also have this scent it's not irritating and when i put it on the lips i'm not like ew it smells like kind of fishy because like it's not noticeable and it disappears almost instantly um but i sniff everything so that's why i notice it but it's actually a really good liquid lipstick and it's very long wearing um it can be kind of thick on the lips though so i try and apply a lip balm underneath it or try and apply just a dot and like mush my lips together because a little bit of this goes a long way um let's put it over here i don't know if you can even see that um, next I have, oh, the bottom of this container looks so beautiful to me because these are all favourites. Um, this is my new Gucci lipstick and then I have all my Dose of Colours Desi Haiti collection. So this one I picked up recently and I'm still not ready to use it yet because I'm too excited about how beautiful it is still, but I definitely will use it eventually. I'm just like admiring it for a bit still. It's in its grace period. This is the shade 101 Margaret Candle Flame from the Satin line from Gucci. It says Gucci on the lid there. The packaging, look how stunning. This is like artwork to me. Um, and inside it just is the most stunning, light, beigey nude. It looks like it's something I'm going to really enjoy and it just is so beautiful looking. Look at the little Gucci writing on the front there. Um, oh, I'm still admiring this. I'll definitely be wearing it because I'm really excited about the shade, but um, it's so beautiful. I just want to look at it for a while. So yeah, it's still in its grace period. It's still in its welcome to my collection. I just want to look at you period. And um, gee, I'm like staring at it right now and getting lost. It's beautiful. This one and the Balmain one are ones that I haven't used yet just because they're beautiful. They kind of design it to me. Anyway, these last ones that I want to talk about are from my favourite collaboration that anyone's done of all time. These are the Dose of Cuddlers collaborations with Desi and Katie. Um, I have all the products that they came out with in their collaborations and I'll be reading you through them. Um, let's go kind of in order. So this one is More Creamer Please and this is a oh actually this looks so busted now that I look at it like this because like I've really used these. Um, Actually, let's go from the lightest. So this shade over here is called No Shade and it's the light beigey nude. Actually, which one's lighter? I can't remember now. Oh yeah, yeah, it was what I thought. Okay, so No Shade has no shade in it. It's a light beigey nude. It's in that kind of realm that I love and Desi and Kaylee really put in a lot of effort to make sure that the shades in this collection were true neutrals on people with different undertones because it's really easy, I feel like, to get like a cute pinkier nude. There's so many pinkier ones but there aren't as many warm tone ones. Like I have hunted to get the warm tone ones that you can see here. So um, yeah, I really liked that they came out with some warmer tone nudes and this is the perfect shade. I've like mixed this with another lipstick on top. That's why it's like pinky on top, but it's usually this like beige kind of shade and definitely up my alley. Even the packaging on these I think is beautiful. It says Dose of Colors um, in rose gold on this like soft matte nude packaging. Even this shade of nude, it's like such a nice, like I would wear this shade of nude if it was a liquid lipstick as well. Actually, it's probably very similar to Butterscotch from Dose of Colors. Anyway, um, the rose gold, um, I don't know what this is called, like the feral? I don't know. And it says Lust Deluxe and Desi Perkins. It has their signatures. Um, you can't see that. It's like their signatures are in the details of the rose gold there embossed into it. It's just stunning. So yeah, that was um, no shade. And then more creamer, please. It's like similar but slightly darker. You can probably tell it's slightly darker. These are both stunning. I wear this all the time. Favorite, favorite, favorites. Um, and then I have Hey Girl and Aftermath. So this is Hey Girl. Um, and it's kind of like a, mm, it's a little bit on the pinky and morbia side, but very similar as well. Definitely in that realm of what I love. And then this is Aft Aftermath, which is a lot darker. I haven't actually worn this one yet because it's so like out of my comfort zone. This is definitely made for someone with a deeper skin tone. Um, whereas these are meant for someone with like a lighter to medium skin tone. You can kind of tell the difference. Um, so yeah, this is definitely a... 
I almost dropped them off. Um, this is going to be a beautiful nude on someone with a deeper skin tone on than me, but um, it's kind of brown on me. But I'm definitely going to enjoy it still because it's still a really beautiful shade as a brown. Um, but yeah, it's just like not a true nude on myself, obviously, um, because that's not my skin tone. Then I have two of the liquid lipsticks from them. Oh, this one's my favorite one. This is my main. Um, it's again in that beautiful soft matte packaging with the like, I don't know, brushed, not brushed, rubberized soft matte texture with the rose gold lid. And this is beautiful. My main is a little bit warmer tone than I'm used to, I'm going to say. Not warmer tone. It's a little bit, um, what am I trying to say? It's a little bit pinkier than like, for example, Dose of Colors' is, um, Supernatural. It's a little bit morbia, but it's still definitely beautiful. Um, definitely in the region, definitely in the zone. Um, and the Dose of Colors formula is stunning. I'm just making sure I didn't get any of this on my onesie pants. I'm wearing like this top, but like my onesie underneath. Anyway, YouTuber things, I know. Anyway, this is um, really beautiful and I love the scent of these. These also have that like creamy vanilla, delicious scent. These do too, the, the actual bullet lipsticks, they also have really nice scent. Um, and then this is a Morve Story, and this is Morvia, obviously, because it's called a Morve Story, but it's not too uncomfortable. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Lolita from, um, what's it called? KVD Beauty. Um, I don't know if it is, but it's just like a little bit Morvia than I'm used to. It's still nude though. Um, it just like errs on like that Morvia nude side rather than like the warm tone nude side that is my favorite. But this whole line from Desi and Katie is beautiful. And, you know, some people are more into a Morvian nude. So I understand why they came out with different ones. And I still love them all. Let's pop them up here. Because I love them. These get pride and joy, like, prized place on my vanity. Because they're my favourites. They go in the centre. But, yeah. Those are all of my nude lips. Thank you for joining me on this humongous journey. I had fun looking at all my faves and I hope you enjoyed looking at them all too. I know this is not the average person's nude lip collection. I am obsessed with nude lipsticks and um, I had lots of fun collecting my enormous collection that I love so much. If you enjoyed watching this video too, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below anything you'd like to see from me in future. Subscribe if you'd like to see more content from me and hopefully I'll see you in a future video soon. Thanks so much for watching guys. Bye!